When you're adding sign numbers, you want to think of the numbers as positives and negatives. And then just look at the situation and think about what would happen. That's really a lot easier than trying to just memorize a bunch of arbitrary rules. So, for example, let's say we had a problem such as 3 plus negative 4. You're going to want to think of this as 3 positives and 4 negatives. To solve any of these problems, to add any sign numbers, you can really follow three steps. So step number one would be to draw a picture. So we're going to do that first. We're going to come over here and look at our problem. We have a positive three. So that means we're just going to draw three positives. One, two, three. Now if you're asking how did you know the three was positive, any time a number has no sign, no positive or negative sign, it's automatically positive. I mean, think back to elementary school, you know, when you just said the number two. Uh, no one told you that's actually a positive two, but it is. Numbers are always positive unless we specifically say they're negative. So the three became three positives. Here we have a negative four. So what do you think we're going to draw for that? Four negatives. And we'll draw it right underneath. One, two, three, four negatives. That's step one, is to draw a picture. Uh, step two is going to be to simply um, cancel each set of positives and negatives. Here's what I mean by that. Anytime you have a set of positives and negatives, for example, right here, this positive and this negative, one positive and one negative will always cancel each other out. Here's another set that will cancel and a third set. So each of those sets canceled out. You might be saying, wait, why, why do they cancel? Uh, well, for example, let's say that you owed someone a dollar and then someone gave you a dollar. That was one positive and one negative. Well, that cancels out. You now have no money, right? You pay it back and you're even. So a positive and a negative will always cancel each other out. So number one, we drew a picture. Number two, we canceled any sets of positive and negative. If they're there, of course, there's not always one. But if there's a set that cancels, go ahead and cancel them. And then the next step, step number three, is to, let's see, it's going to draw it on top, but I'll fix it here in a second. Uh, step three, what you're going to do is you're going to count what's left. So we're going to count what's left. All right, in this case, we have one negative. And so one negative means the answer is negative one. And that's it. Another way you can think about these problems is like money. I already alluded to that a little bit. For example, uh, for this problem, we can think three positives would be like you actually have three dollars. And then negative means you have to pay. So in this case, you have three dollars, but you have to pay four dollars. Well, where are you going to be left? Well, you're going to pay three, and then you're still going to owe one more dollar. And so that gives you the answer of negative one. Let's look at one more. Let's do a problem like this. Let's see. Let's solve the problem negative 6 plus negative 9. So we're going to follow the same three steps. We're going to start number one by drawing a picture. So here we have six negatives. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here we have nine more negatives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, number, step two is to cancel any positives and negatives. But here's the thing. We don't have any positives in this situation. All we have is a whole bunch of negatives. So that means nothing will cancel. Instead, we move right on to step three, which is to count up what you have. Well, we have a whole bunch of negatives. Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We knew that, right? Six negatives and nine more negatives is a total of 15 negatives. And that's the answer. 15 negatives or negative 15. Once again, you could think of this as money and get to the same answer. Let's say you owe one friend six dollars 
and you owe another friend nine dollars. Whenever it's a negative, it means you owe. So if you owe one friend six bucks and another friend nine bucks, how much money do you have all together? Well, you are in the hole fifteen dollars or negative fifteen. Let's try another example, and this time let's do it together. First, I want you to think, what picture would you draw for negative five? Well, I hope you were thinking you would draw five negatives. Now, what would you draw for this eight? It's positive, so you should draw eight positives. Now what? We've got some negatives and some positives, so what would we do next? Well, remember, a negatives and positives cancel each other out. So each of these sets is going to cancel. What's left? I hope you thought there are three positives left. So the answer is positive three, or just three. All right, what about this problem? Negative four plus negative one. I'm going to give you a second. Draw your own picture and think what the answer would be. All right, do you think you know what it is? For negative four, you should have drawn four negatives. One, two, three, four. For negative one, you should have drawn one negative. All right, now, I hope at this point you didn't cancel anything out because they're all negatives. And you can only cancel if there's positives and negatives to cancel each other out. So in this case, we just have a whole bunch of negatives. In particular, one, two, three, four, five negatives. And so the answer is negative five. Hope you got it right. If you think you're getting the hang of it, you might be ready for a little bit more challenging problem. So let's try one that has two steps. Negative six plus negative five plus seven. We're going to do each of these pieces one at a time. So first let's just do negative six plus negative five. Negative six, we've got six negatives. And negative five, we've got five more negatives. Nothing will cancel since everything's negative. So all together we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven negatives. So negative six plus negative five is negative eleven. In this case though, we're not done because we still have plus seven to do. So now let's solve this problem. Negative eleven is eleven negatives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Seven is of course seven positives. All right, all these seven negatives and seven positives are going to cancel each other out. And we're left with one, two, three, four negatives. So the final answer is negative four.